Whenever there is an outbreak involving a particular pathogen or even a recall, the number one question that we receive here at Unsafe Foods is how will this bacteria affect me or my family? And how can I help keep them safe? We have created this video concerning the Listeria bacteria to help answer those questions for you. First, Listeria is a very common bacteria. It lives in soils, in water sources, it can be found in live livestock and in sewage. It even can be found in your at-home freezer or refrigerator. The hardiness of the bacteria allows it to live in cold environments. This makes it very easy to live very well in places like meat processing plants or food manufacturing facilities. Listeriosis, however, which is the actual infection that listeria causes, is relatively rare. The typical healthy adult won't succumb to listeriosis. But if someone is in a high risk group, for example, the elderly, the very young, people with compromised immune systems, like those who have HIV or those who have undergone organ transplants, as well as pregnant women, could be at potential risk of listeriosis. The signs and symptoms of listeriosis are typically mild to begin with, usually flu-like symptoms. They include nausea, vomiting, and maybe the occasional diarrhea. However, they can become more severe to include a stiff neck, a headache, and potentially a fever. Listeriosis can also become invasive. This means that it could leave the gastrointestinal tract and potentially affect other body systems, including the bloodstream, causing sepsis or blood infection, or the central nervous system, causing meningitis. However, succumbing to listeriosis is something that is very preventable, and there are a couple of easy things that you can do to ensure that you and your family stay safe. The number one thing is washing your hands and any food preparation services. It is also recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention that you also wash out your refrigerator and freezer. The same agency also recommends that people in the high risk group avoid particular foods that have been known in the past to cause listeria outbreaks and recalls. These include unwashed fruits, unpasteurized raw juices and milks, pâtés, raw meats, as well as items like hot dogs or deli meats. You can still enjoy some of these items, however, as long as they have been adequately pasteurized or have been heated to their optimum cooking temperatures. One of the best things that you can do to ensure that listeriosis doesn't affect you and your family is if there is anyone showing signs or symptoms, medical attention is encouraged, especially for pregnant women. Listeriosis can present with simple flu-like symptoms in pregnant women and can potentially turn into an infection that could infect the fetus. This could also cause premature um, labor, it could also cause miscarriages, and it could cause further birth defects in the fetus for a long term. Thank you for listening. If you have any other questions or concerns, you can email us at unsafefoods.com or you can visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention at www.cdc.gov.